um, uh, in in every community there's challenges, um, but in 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 mainly in, within the South Asian community, there's there's still uh, challenges and, and hurdles that that we 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 find in as we as we move on. And the biggest challenge is is, is awareness um, and uh, education, and um, people aren't aware of um, what services or what uh, support is is available for them. Uh, and 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 secondly, not only um, the awareness, but the education around um, the different types of, of of illness or different types of interventions that are provided by services. Um, so there's, there's there's a couple of things: there's awareness and there's there's education. Um, uh, but things things are getting better. Uh, the challenges are are decreasing, but it doesn't mean that we're we're totally clear from from challenges. People have been more open. Um, people talking about um, what's going on rather than sort of try to manage things in house. Um, try to uh, approach people um, uh, in 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 certain fields and try to go get support when they need it rather than when it's um, boiling point. And that's something that um, I've been trying to sort of um, advise uh, our communities in various different uh, events and also when when I'm sort of practicing on a day-to-day basis the, the 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 families that I engage with uh, the key the key message is you know uh, do not wait around um it's it's very important that you get that support early and and you open up and 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 talk about what's going on uh, and that's something that our community has let itself down with um and, and it's about trust and it's about awareness and it's about knowing what's out there um, and I think it's it's something that I would like to change is um, people having trust in services and, and, and getting education and attending awareness sessions um, because you're educating yourself and then you can then not only um, take up that offer, but you can partake that advice to others within your community. So everyone has a role to play. That's what I'd say. Um, sometimes you just get a blank look. Um, sometimes they it's, it, it, they just don't understand, um, and then you have to explain it within within your terms, within your language, and that's when sometimes you, you've got to educate, really, really explain your the role of uh, uh, mental health that plays its part in 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 day to day functioning. Really, so yeah, you have to give it um, your all in terms of explanation, what it means, and how how it affects you, and what support is there. It's not just mental health. It's as as you as you know um, from from the language we have to use. It's, it's it's quite challenging to explain to someone what the term mental health means. It it's it's quite simple if you look at it from um, on a, on a piece of paper. Um, but actually, when someone's not doing that well, um, things can be quite quite difficult to pinpoint. Um, and it's and it's just simple things that people we take for granted. Uh, for example, going out for a walk, um, um, going out for a meal with friends, um, just talking, um, uh, playing sports. Um, so just simple little things that we take for granted every single day. For me, that's health and health and well-being. Um, talking to to your friends, taking time out of of stressful um, day-to-day activities um, for someone that could be just burn out through work. Um, and it's just simple little things that we take for granted is health and well-being.